Hello, welcome to Organic Acting. I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about a very unique practitioner. This is Augusto Boal Exercises. Augusto Boal was a Brazilian director, writer, and politician. During over 40 years of work in different parts of the world, he developed what he called the theater of the oppressed. Boal was unique because he believed theatre could be for anyone from all walks of life, as long as the techniques were passed on to them. Most importantly, I believe that theatre should be for all, especially for the oppressed, for the sexually oppressed, the salary oppressed, the politically oppressed. In 1971, for political reasons, Boal was forced to leave Brazil. He worked on different political projects before he established the Center of the Theatre of the Oppressed in Rio de Janeiro. In his later years, he worked with groups who were involved with teaching drama techniques to community groups, trade unions, and other associations. These groups would put on small pieces of theatre involving issues that were relevant to them and then plan different interventions or different strategies to overcome the problem or the oppression. One of the most simple and effective techniques that Boal and his groups would use would be the implementation of warm-up activities. Exercises that us actors might take for granted like the name game or passing the ball. These games and activities allowed actors and non-actors to relax, use new muscles, create a sense of trust and relaxation, and instill a heightened sense of awareness. And remember, the genius of Theatre of the Oppressed and Forum Theatre was that it was for all people from all walks of life. Rather than being inaccessible and a total mystery, members of the public were finally given the keys to theatre. So what exactly does Forum Theatre involve? Well, this is the genius behind the technique and one of my favourite elements from Boal. Members of the group would discuss an element of oppression that they had encountered in their own lives or at work. The group would then put on a small piece of theatre, only about a minute or two minutes, which shows this oppression and how it affected them. The actors would then perform the piece for a second time, but here is what is clever. At any point, the actors could yell stop or pause, stand up, and then take the place of one of the actors to try and change the outcome of the piece or to steer the action in a different direction with a sense of overcoming the oppression in the piece. Boal said, in this sense, the spectators become the spect actors. Of course, this had to be a constructive, non-violent approach. Next, we move on to Boal's image theatre. Here, the spect actors are presented with a tableau or a freeze frame showing an issue like eviction or abuse. Because the tableau is silent, the spect actors are asked, first of all, what are you seeing? Where is the power? What is the abuse? and then asked to physically change the tableau to try and resolve that problem. This is a great way of making thoughts and concepts visible rather than just expressing them with words. This next one is exciting. This is Boal's Invisible Theatre. Here, Boal would take groups out to perform in public without announcing that it was a theatrical piece and that they were acting. In Sweden, they had a picnic in the middle of the road as a critique on car culture. Now, I don't agree with having a picnic in the middle of the road and stopping people on their daily commute, but street theatre, especially when it isn't announced as being theatrical or pretend, is a great way of bringing people in. People from all walks of life who aren't involved with the theatre, who have never acted. Bringing them in and seeing what happens, how it affects them, how it makes them think. And finally, we have Boal's Newspaper Theatre. 
He believed that if you read the news, you opened up a newspaper, you were affected by bias. You were affected by where the headline was, where the stories were, the juxtaposition of the two stories being alongside each other. And even if it was unintentional, this bias could dilute certain stories. So for example, if you had a war story next to a piece of celebrity news, the war story's impact would be diluted. When working with groups, Boal would overcome this problem by presenting the news stories in a new way. He would use techniques like rhythm and music to highlight certain elements. He would use improvisation and acting right alongside the people who were reading the news stories. He would use historical and sometimes graphic imagery projected behind the readers. All of these techniques highlight the important issues and, most importantly, they dramatize. This does away with the desensitizing experience of sitting on your bum and reading the news. So what do you think of Augusto Boal and the Theatre of the Oppressed? Would you like to find out more? Let us all know in the comments. As always, I've been Chris. If you can like, share, subscribe, it really helps me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.